apart from this disappointment, there was another disappointment for India here. Jitu Rai, he failed to qualify for the 50 meter air pistol event. It was very heartbreaking considering that he was India's best bet for gold medal. I don't know. I mean, you know, when we talk about medals here, I think sometimes we kind of stretch our imagination a little bit. And this has nothing to do with Jitu Rai as a shooter. As we've known him as a shooter. We have seen him in the Asian Games. You know, he's picked up a gold. I mean, he's a world champion shooter, but things do go wrong. My only point is, and we were calculating this, yeah, you know, exactly. we were talking about and discussing this, that why are the Koreans and the Chinese mm -hmm. who are gold and silver at the Asian Games where G2 has also won a medal, why are they winning at the Olympic level? And why are we finishing 12th, 10th, 11th? I can understand G2 not shooting well in a final, mm -hmm. you know, huge pressure. But not reaching the final, I think, is an issue there. Whatever you say, if you are a top shooter, it, it takes a lot not to go to the final. I think what we need to do is probably see these gaps mm -hmm. as to why the Korean who shoots a gold in the Asian Games picks up a gold in the Olympic Games. And why do we who pick up a silver and a bronze in the Asian Games are not reaching the final of the Olympic Games? I think this gap needs to be checked and we really need to sit down. I think these shooters need to sit down with their coaches. Somebody from management needs to sit down and figure out what is wrong with us that we are not getting into a final. A uh, 10 meter air a pistol event, he, he failed there as well. Do you think uh, that remained in his mind considering that 50 meter is his forte? No, I don't think so. I think when you, when, when you are a world champion shooter, you got a gold medal with you from the Asian Games. You shot tremendously well. You are being called a diamond by a coach. You are being featured all over the place. You're winning awards. I think when you've gone to that particular level, it is. I'm, I'm not saying it's your duty. I'm not even getting into that. I'm saying it's. It's. It needs to be done that you need to be in the final. I think pressure is something that a top shooter takes. You know, it, it's not his debut. Mm -hmm. He's not an 18-year-old or a 16-year-old. He's not Abhinav Bindra in the Sydney Olympics of 2000. You know, where he was young. You know, he didn't know what what the hell was going on there. But this guy knows. You know, he's been tipped to win a gold medal. So if you're not winning a gold, if you're not getting to the final, then there's something seriously wrong. Burden of expectations from Indians? No, I don't think so. I think he, he, he knows how to tackle it. And what is the burden here? The burden is that if you're not going to the final, that's a burden, you know. Mm -hmm. Not reaching there and winning, I think we all understand that, you know. We, we saw it with Abhinav Bindra, what happened. He, he came forth, he was just a whisker away from a medal. But everybody understands that. But look at that guy, he reaches a final. That is, that is what is required. I mean, talking about Jitu Ray, do you think that, you know, he needs to do something differently? Because Indians beyond Asia, we're not able to do something well at Olympic level. No, I don't think so. I, I, I do believe that the shooters are doing extremely well at the World Championships. Mm -hmm. But you've got to take some things into consideration here. Number one, the Olympics come in once in four years. The, the, the Asian Games comes once in four years, you know. So, when you talk of these levels, these are levels you prepare for. The World Championships, you go every third month, sixth month, eighth month. Nobody even knows when they go, when they win a medal and come back. But here you got expectations and you fulfill those expectations, not as a debut shooter, but as somebody who's world class.